Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be having a quick look at Survive Servarium. We're going to be looking through some of the features of the game, um, and then we're going to be playing a quick match um, to show you guys what the game's like and to give you an insight of of how it is. Um, so this game's pretty new, um, and it's on Steam for free, which is pretty surprising considering how unknown the game is. Uh, I really only just found out about the game the other day when I saw another YouTuber playing it and I thought it looked pretty awesome so I thought I'd download it and give it a go and show you guys what it's like. Um, so I haven't uploaded in a while and that's really just because I've been busy with school work and uh, other things that I've had to had to get done and I haven't really had time to uh, make any videos for you guys. I've been playing a lot of Counter-Strike and, and a bit of League of Legends as well so that's been on the agenda um, but I found some, myself some free time today and I figured I'd show you guys a bit and see, uh, let you know how I feel about the game and maybe help you to decide whether or not you want to bother getting it in its current state. So what we have here is the main screen of the game. Um, as you can see there's a few options along the top, a few other things which I haven't really delved into a whole lot. We've got some missions here um, and as you can see here, this is my character here looking pretty swaggy pretty cool um, that that rifle Mosin and Nagant um, so here we have the leagues option which like I said I haven't really delved into much but what I can tell this is like competitive since it says plain raiding match here um, and the way the game is for me at the moment there's no way I'd be going into that but um, I think if, if you really enjoy the game and it's fine for you then I'd probably maybe give that a shot I'm sure it'd be fun uh, there's workshop here, which is um, like I'm guessing that's probably where you do crafting and that sort of thing. But for me, it's not highlighted. I'm not even sure if it's in the game at the moment. Um, but yeah, maybe you unlock that at a later level. I'm not sure. This is your clan tab, so I'm just assuming this is where you can make clans with friends. Um, I don't have any friends playing this game at the moment, so that's nothing, nothing to do with me there. Here's a shop, so that's a pretty straightforward concept. That's where you buy uh, equipment like guns and, and armor and that sort of thing. And at the top here, you can see a bunch of things. So it's going to say scavengers, black market, renaissance army, and fringe settlers. So these are the four groups within the game, four um, sort of groups that you can be. You can be one of them. And you get to decide that when you open up the game for the first time. So I selected Renaissance Army, they're like the military dudes, they get better guns from what I can tell, the most powerful guns, and they also get um, more strong equipment, which you can kind of see, some of this stuff looks pretty badass. But you unlock that later on, and I'm only level 3, so I've only unlocked some of the basic stuff, but you can see some of these weapons look pretty cool. Um, some of them you can buy with the gold, so that's like the in-game currency stuff. This The silver is what you get from games, you have to pay real money for the gold. That's why I have none. Um, and med kits and all, and all that sort of thing. And then, yeah, we have the other groups. You can see they have different weapons. Um, and that's because each group has its own sort of set of, of things that apply to them. Like the Renaissance Army have the strongest armor and better strongest weapons. Um, Whereas some of these groups specialize in long distance weapons. I'm not sure which one it was. I basically just went straight for these guys because they're the most simple. Yeah, yeah. one of these is strong long distance weapons. It's probably these guys, I think. Um, one focused on close range, such as shotguns and that sort of thing. Um, shotguns would be this group, the black market. And there are other things which these guys do for you, which I'll show you once we get into game, because it's going to make it more easy to explain. <laughs> Pardon the sniffing there. I have a little bit of cold, and so I may seem a bit sick in this video. Then we have equipment, which is all the stuff that you own for each different faction. Um, so, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really matter what faction you're in. You can kind of use the weapons from each of them. But I'm not really sure how that works, to be honest. Like, I'm using this Mosin mostly as my main weapon in game. And then I've got this pistol, which is from these guys. And I've just got this armor, which I purchased, and bandage. So you get one item slot for bandages, then you get two weapon slots secondary and main weapon. Um, then 
then you have some other stuff which I don't have any of yet. And you get more than one profile. I think you have to pay my actual money for that one, but you get two default ones. Um, where you get like... Oh, they're basically exactly the same thing. I just have an Uzi on this one, and on my second one I have this. Don't know if you actually have to pay for ammo. I'm really not sure. Um, that's kind of concerning. Maybe you actually do. What is this? Ah, okay. I don't know what that's about, but... Anywho, I'll save that for another time. Characters where you upgrade your guy, make him better, so you have your stat point, stat tree kind of thing. Um, you can see what these are, like stamina recovery, stamina consumption, and they get better all the way down the more you play the game. Uh, speed of movement while aiming, speed of aiming, all that sort of thing. Not sure what those ones do. Survival skills, technical skills, and knowledge. I think you can make like traps, um, better medicines, pick up medicines in game, something like that. And here you have your missions, I haven't really messed around with any of that. No, you guys can read through these if you want. Just pause the video. Um, so basically uh, I'm gonna start queuing for a match now. Um, it takes a few minutes to find a match for me normally at this level, but um, it should be noted that I th from what I can tell, the higher level you are the longer it takes to get a match. So yeah, that's probably worth noting. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. I'll cut to when we get in game. And we'll have some fun there. Hey guys, welcome back. I found myself a game. Um, I haven't actually played this map yet. I've only played a few maps so far. So that's pretty exciting. New experience for both of us, I suppose. Um, now one thing I would like to point out about this game is the fact that uh, it's actually a spiritual successor to the Stalker series. Maybe not exactly. I'm not sure if it's actually made by the same company or anything. It's probably not. I'm just quickly switching over to my uh, Mosin loadout because that's the one I prefer. Um, which essentially, that being a spiritual successor, means it um, has the same kind of setting. So they're both set in Eastern Euro Europe, Russia, maybe Ukraine. I'm not sure. But um, the maps are very derelict looking. No offense to anyone that lives there. But I really like the. Um, graphics, the art style, it's all really good. Even the actual combat mechanics are really quite good as well. Um, you notice it's all very well done. Very very nice looking, but there is a problem. And that problem is quite significant really. When I made my account, you can basically select from three different servers. So you've got um, North America, Europe and Asia, I think. It might have been China specifically, I'm not sure. Um, I can't remember, but I chose North America because I figured um, China would probably be less laggy since I live in Australia, it's closer to me, but the problem with that is um, everyone speaks Chinese, and in case you didn't know, I don't speak Chinese, so I figured maybe there'd be a lot of communication in this game, um, maybe being on an American server would be better, I'd be able to talk to the people, didn't realize how laggy it was going to be. And to be honest, I'm not really sure whether being on a ch Chinese server would make much difference either. But, um... Yeah, it is pretty laggy. You can see at the top I have about 300 ping or something like that. And you probably saw how laggy that was as well. 300, almost almost 400 ping. Closer to 400 to 300, which is pretty much unplayable. But I managed to have a bit of fun with it, so... I thought I'd just let that out, let you guys know that. You don't have to keep watching the video if, you, if you're here for the gameplay, it's pretty laggy, but um, if you're Australian, I'd definitely recommend going with the Asia server. I'm not sure how much of a difference it would make, but if it's any difference from, from this, I'd definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hanging on to the hope that they're going to get some kind of oceanic server. Um, Maybe they'll enable community servers, that's what most games do. Um, and then we'll be able to have Australian servers, I'll be able to play on them. And without lag, and I think this game will be really cool once that happens. Let me see if I can get one of these guys. There we go, oh I hit him, wasn't a kill though. He probably has some kind of good armor on, hey, as a kill. See, I'm, I'm so good I can even get kills while well. I've got 400 ping. Just joking, I'm not that good. I'm 
pretty bad, really, but... That's that. See, like, I can't even hit that dude, because he just lags out of the way from where I'm aiming. Hit him, though. These guys have got armor. Most people I play with die to one hit from this gun, which is kind of what you need when it's so laggy. Yeah. Um. But anyway, at the moment, yeah, I'm just really hanging on to the hope that there'll be some kind of community server. Otherwise, the game basically not really worth playing. It's fun still, but it'd just be so much better with um, non-laggy gameplay. These guys have mad armor, I have to say. <laughs> they must be pretty high level. Don't know how the matchmaking works, but uh... Oh, okay, I got an assist. I'm coming second even though I'm doing pretty shit. Also, there's no real team kill mechanic that stops you from team killing. You can just team kill all you want really and you don't really get punished for it. You're only very minorly punished and it doesn't affect you at all. You can basically team kill as many people as you want and nothing really bad happens to you. Got that guy, which is good. Oh yeah, you press F and you can do a little punch thing. I think I just team killed someone there, maybe. No, I collateraled through my teammate and hit him. <laughs> also, for some reason I don't have bandages on this loadout. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to have bandages, but it didn't work, apparently. Ah, there's an anomaly. That's what I wanted to show you guys. You may have, if you've played Stalker, you know about anom anomalies. Well, they're in this game as well. And if you play as military dudes, Renaissance Army, you have really, really bad resistance for them. You die really quick to them. Whereas some of the other classes, like these guys with the leather jackets, I think they have good resistance to the anomalies, so they can go up and pick them up. And it gives them some kind of power up or something like that. Um, so that's really good if you play on them. It makes you really strong. Um, yeah, so playing as a renaissance army I really can't get them or else I just die instantly. But that's a cool thing. Now just look at that map. How cool does that look in the background? For a free game, that's pretty amazing. Um, also there are... Oh, there's another one. I'll try and get it. I'll probably die. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, for a free game, it's it's pretty good. And, you know, developers need to make ends meet, so there are um, in-game purchases, like guns and stuff, but they're really I don't really know how good they are, because I haven't been bothered to buy any. I don't feel like wasting my money on a game that I can't really play because of the lag. I can't play the way it's meant to be played anyway. But surprisingly, even with the lag, it's still pretty fun. I don't think it, I, you can say that for many games. 400 ping and still have fun. Also, um, people are saying it is a lot like COD. I tend to agree with that at the moment. And the reason for that is because... Um, yeah, see, look how laggy that was. I wasn't even aiming on the dude and I still shot him. Man, he's got a pretty crazy looking arm there. One arm, that doesn't really look natural, does it? <laughs> Um, anyway. Yep. Well, lag couldn't save me there. I still got him, though. Uh, what's the thing? Yeah, it is, a, it is a bit like COD. Um, it is just run and gun, really, at the moment. But I think, from what I know, the reason for that is because um, they're trying to get the combat all sorted in the beta so that if people have issues with it... Um, once the full game comes out, which I think is meant to be like open world, kind of like multiplayer stalker or something, there's not going to be any issues with the combat because people would have would have pointed them out already, which I like. I like that. Um, and I'm really definitely looking forward to checking that out. Granted, there's no lag on the final release. <laughs> I really, really, really hope there isn't. That would make me immensely happy. <laughs> I 
I got one. <laughs> Smacked him down. And what's funny is I normally end up doing pretty well, even though I have like probably more lag than most of these guys. I'm assuming most of them actually live in North America. Which I most certainly don't. I uh, don't want to go near that. See, I already took damage quite a long way away from it as well. I think when you play as the other guys, your armor gives you a bit more resistance to them. Quite a lot more, actually. Because I've seen people just run in and grab them. I'll show you guys a bit of um, gameplay with my other weapon that I've been using a little bit. It's an Uzi submachine gun, so I'll show you guys a bit of gameplay of that next time I die. And as far as I can tell, this mode is just team deathmatch. There's really no like objective or anything other than just kill the enemy team as much as you can. Which is fine by me. Really, it's just a demonstration of the gameplay mechanics. Nothing else, really. And how was that not a kill? across here. I haven't been over here yet. Oh, I forgot to change class. Don't worry, I'll do that next time I die. Just checking out this little church, or whatever it is. Steer clear of the anomalies. We'll explore the church. Ooh, we can go upstairs. Little skeleton McGee there. I wish we had a sniper rifle. Oh, how was that? Man, I'm landing these long range shots though. Not getting. Oh, kill assist there. I like this. If I had a full on, fully fledged sniper rifle, this would be a. Oh, Jesus. Apparently, that Kipperus gun is really overpowered at the moment. I'll switch over to the Uzi and show you guys a bit of gameplay with that. I like the uh, look down at your feet games, where you can see your own feet running. It's definitely a good thing about it. And if I had the armor to do it guys, I'd show you the anomalies, but I just don't. Unfortunately, um, I don't think you can change your server as well. At least it's not an easy process, not one that I can have time to do. Just to see whether it changes the lag or not, but if you're Australian, I definitely recommend trying the Asian server. I'm sorry if it's if it's not not good, but from what I can tell, this North American server is not not a great thing to use. So not a great thing to use if you're not in North America. <laughs> I'm really close to being dead here though. I'm probably gonna die. Um, I'll see if I can get into some cover. Oh, I ain't dead yet. There we go. Got me with a trap. But yeah, this is a bit of a demonstration of the Uzi submachine so gun class. Um, you don't actually start with this gun. The Mosin you do start with. This gun I unlocked from some treasure chest thing, which I think I'll get to show you at the end of the game. Another thing is the game runs quite well um, on my computer, and uh, there's another trap. Um, it runs quite well, I'm getting like 100 frames even while recording, which is cool. I was going to upload in 60 FPS, but I really don't see the point considering that my ping's 360. <laughs> knows, maybe you guys can watch this as a, a demonstration of laggy, uh, laggy gameplay. This game, 
this gun does jump around a hell of a lot. It's like uh, riding a horse or something. Killed my guy there. I'm sorry. And yeah, I think I told, I think I mentioned it that you absolutely can team kill. Um, I've seen guys just sit in the spawn with light machine guns and just kill everyone on their team as they respawn, just because they don't get punished for it. Go switch back to the Mosin now. It's more fun. Much more fun. More of a, a rifle bolt action guy. Not sure how long this video is going to go for, guys. Might be a bit long, I'm not sure. But don't feel like you have to watch this whole combat segment. Because you really don't. See how laggy that guy was there? It's pretty ridiculous. Without the lag, I imagine this um, Mosin gameplay would be really cool. See, to me, I was behind the van, and I still caught the bullet. ping I've ever had to actually play a game on. But I suppose there I'm lagging to them as well, so it's very hard for them to shoot me with me lagging out all over the place. Victory! And I think I came first as well. Jesus. Alright, so we get to check one of these stashes, I think, after every game. I tend to get the money. Um, I wouldn't have mind getting that armor or something. But there we go, guys. So, to summarize, I think I really like the game setting. I like its idea, and I like the gameplay. Um, I think it has really good potential. Um, but if you're in the Oceanic region, it's probably not a great idea to pick up the game just yet. Um, I think... If they sort out some kind of oceanic server, which games normally don't do, but they might enable community servers and then we'll be able to join onto oceanic ones. But I mean, if you if you don't mind playing with a 360 ping, then go ahead, get the game and have a, have a bit of fun with it. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Vincenity out.